Hey y'all, I'm back with another one. What's going on my queens and my kings? That's right, your girl is back. Queen, see my red, where's your Ziva, how's the queens? See y'all see exactly what it is. Mm -mm. I'm being funny and messy. This a little bit, this a little bit. What it say? When you ugly, but you sell drugs? Okay. You got a Freddy Cougar with some bad bitches. Okay. <laughs> it's not about y'all looks, y'all. It's not about your looks. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's not about your looks. This is going towards Sammy and Portia. Y'all know Portia, she a bad bitch, right? She got that build about it. You know, build about it. She went to the um, surgeon and said, I want that ass. Them titties, them thighs, and all the other kind of shit, and put it together in one packet. So she woke up. She was like, "Yes, I got my build about it." Okay, so this is one is for the niggas. Okay, you know it'd be a lot of motherfuckers out here doing a thugism. Shit like that. Okay. They not the most handsome and cutest of all, but they be around surrounding a lot of bitches. Some be cute, some be ugly, but they get it what I how to get it. But it's not about you. It's about what you can provide. I always said that. I always said that, y'all. So when it says, when you ugly, but you sell drugs. Y'all see that Freddy Cougar looking knuckle? Getting all kissed up on and them bitches infatuated his motherfucking ass. Bitch, it's not about you. It ain't about you at all. It's about what you can provide. So, they gonna love on you. They gonna tell you what the fuck you want to hear. They gonna stroke your motherfucking ego just to get what you got. And when they got, they gone. So, the moral of the story is... Give it this, so you can give it that. Give it this, so you can give it that. You can give it this, so you can give it that. Because you is not worth it. <laughs> hey, baby. So, anywho, look at that. That is a motherfucking shame. That is ridiculous. But, anyways, like I said, it ain't about your look, y'all. It ain't about your look. Get it how you get it. Get, get who like you. Love who love you. But when your pockets is long or you financially stable or you can provide for these bitches out here, they gonna let me love you down. Oh. Boy, they gonna, they gonna treat you like you the motherfucking king or queen of bullshit. <laughs> but anyway... I couldn't help myself. I just had to jump on this give y'all some motherfucking content from your girl, Queen Fiwain Red, Reducated Diva from what? House of Queens TV, King Nation, and Queen Nation. They had to jump in and jump out on your ass. This, you know, couldn't bullshit. So, I don't know, you know, um, I can't name off the bat. It's a lot of motherfuckers out there like that that ain't cute in the eye of the beholder. They say beauty is skin deep. And it must be really deep, y'all. You gotta go under a rock to find that motherfucker. But anyways, it is not about your lips because um, my cousin, shout out to Janice, she told me, uh, when I had a situation with my baby daddy, my first baby daddy, uh, she said, oh, so what you think about now? What you said? I'm not going to say what she said. I'm not going to put the business out there on my first baby daddy. But we said some shit, and a situation happened, and she says, oh, oh now how do you feel? But you can you can feel in the blanks when I say, um, looks. <laughs> But my first daddy, baby daddy, he um he's Indian American, so is my um second baby daddy. So um, you know, what attracted me to him was coming from um California, going back to Louisiana, was that you you saw the gang banging and 
thugging and all that shit. So going back to the south, the part of town that I'm from, you know, Jonesboro, Louisiana. Shout out Jonesboro. Yes, right, three way. Oh, they heard that. So, um, being approached when I approached him, and you know, it wasn't about the sagging pants and. You know, looking like a gangbanger or a thug. So that, you know, I was attracted to that because I'm used to that, seeing that shit in, um, in California. So going back to Louisiana and, you know, they people do sag their pants and all that other kind of shit. But what attracted, to, attracted me to him was that he wasn't like what I, the norm that I see in California. Not the saggy pants and, um, you know, thugging, gangbanging, having a rag hang, uh, do rag, not do rag, but a bandana hanging out the back of your pants or your pocket, or whatever. So, that what attracted me to him. But what I'm saying right here is that when you have financial gain or you have financial shit or whatever that you're offering, people look at you a different type of way. You can be fucking buck to hook. You could be Shrek. You could be the, the beast off of Beauty and the Beast. You could be all these ugly ass motherfuckers. But when you got something to offer these bitches and these hoes and these niggas, they see you different. They see you as a commodity. They see you as a come up. And if you're a weak person, you're going to give in to that bullshit because you're not used to getting females like that or you're not used to getting niggas like that. So you're going to be weak to these motherfuckers coming at you, seeing you as a commodity. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. I'm not saying nothing more, nothing less. All I'm saying is just get it how you get it. Because you got motherfuckers out here that, ugh. Hey, baby daddy. You like it? I know. I know you don't. Baby daddy being nosy. He going to see it on TV because I'm going to play for that before I'm finished. But all I'm saying is that when you have a significant other and you doing shit and whatever, and you expressing how you feel about the situation, they don't fucking acknowledge your feelings. So like I said, yeah, bitch, I'm being messy. I'm being petty. I'm being all the motherfucking bulls. But get how you get it, motherfucker. So what I'm saying is that... If you're not so cute and attractive, and you out here running motherfucking muck, and you got a little, you got a little chain, you got a little coin, you got a little, little, little these pretty ass motherfucking bitches and niggas out here, they ain't studying your raggedy ass. They only study because you can offer them, that you can offer their ass something. That's it. That's all. You got something to give them, and as long as you giving, they got a hand out. Or well, if you ain't giving, they ain't studying you. They not studying you. Get it through your motherfucking head, nigga. Get it through your head, bitches. That's it. That's all. So this is your girl, Queen. Three one eight red, rich candy, diva, house of queens, TV, and I am out this B I itch. It seems like something going on in the backyard. Um, that I gotta go um entertain. But um, these hoes know who Queen Red is. I'll put my foot so far in your ass. Don't play with me. Because I give it to you. Red gonna give it to you. She gonna give it to you. Red gonna give it to you. She gonna give it to you. Don't let that overload your ass. So like I said, this is your girl, Queen Dwayne Red, which is Diva. And like I said, when you ugly, but you sell drugs, or you do other kind of shit to give you financial gain, see who with you when you broke. I'm out this bitch. Bye, you guys.